Well, I paused that other video and then I tried to unpause it and it cut it off. I never will get the hang of that. But anyway, <clears throat> I've showed this before, but I want to show it again. <clears throat> this here sloth that I made. I put I put a little tail on it. They didn't have that on the in the instructions, but I put a little tail on it. And I think it's just the cutest thing. I just love that. It's just the cutest thing. And if my carpal tunnel syndrome don't get too awful bad, I might make another one one of these days. I made this for a friend of mine. Well, if I can get it to undo, boy, that thing is shut tight. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I made her a pair of, I forgot I made her a pair of gloves to go with it. Little fingerless gloves. Put the hearts on there for her. And uh, <clears throat> it's just simple, beautiful shell design. If you can see. Ain't that beautiful? I love that design. It is just gorgeous. And I put this uh, vibrant pink in there. It's jade with that pink. This jade color I got that I used <coughs> is Hershner's. Hershner's yarn. But, uh, she's going to like that. But that's all I wanted to show y'all. That's all I've got to show y'all right now. And I just wanted to check in with you and say hi. And thanks all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry if sometimes it's boring. But it is what it is. And uh, life is good. And I'm thankful to God for life. And... Uh, I'm thankful for friends and family, and I'm thankful for Jesus, and I'm thankful. The way God answers prayers is so neat. <clears throat> I was wanting a cat so bad for a good while, and couldn't have one because we had that chihuahua, and he would just terrorize a cat when he saw one. There was no way we could get a cat. Well, when he died, we got Wilbur, and that was it. Wilbur was—he's a good cat. He's a real sweet cat, real mild mannered, and all that. But he sprayed in the house, and it stunk so bad we couldn't stand it. And uh, we decided to just put him outside, and that has worked out real good. He spent most of the time he stays on the front porch. And he's got a box he sleeps in with a wool pad. And now the stray cats come around, and I've been feeding them too. And not only did God give me Wilbur, but now I have a tuxedo cat. He was a stray, and he's tamed down, and he hangs around out there all the time with Wilbur. Just pretty as he can be. And I fixed him up a box, too, with some wool in the bottom, and he sleeps down there. I'll show y'all on a video next time I'm feeding the cats. I'll show y'all. And the stray cats come around, and <clears throat> some of them cats that have been real scaredified, they've got to where they come a lot closer. And... Uh, to, I put the feed bowls out there, and I sit just, I'll sit three to five feet away from the feed bowls, and I'll just sit there and be still and talk to them, and they come up to the feed bowls and eat, and used to, they wouldn't come anywhere near the porch if they saw me out there, they oh, they'd run, and they're taming a little bit, so... See how God answers prayers. <laughs> he didn't just give me one cat. I got more than one. But I'm so thankful.
that God has given me a good husband, a wonderful husband, very special person, and another one like him nowhere. <clears throat> and uh, I always ask God to keep him safe because he drives a lot. He, he drives uh, for sanitation outfit. You know, he drives, uh, they haul those big, long dumpsters here and there. And uh, he drives a lot. So, and then he goes and visits friends who live out of town too. And I just always pray, Lord, keep him safe. And he keeps him safe. I'm, I appreciate that so much. I really do. I just, I don't take for granted. I don't take for granted that he'll, he'll always be there because we don't know what could happen. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> hopefully I can come up with something that's interesting to show y'all. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.